Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Grand Line Gaming. My name is Jason. And my name is Steven. And it's been a while since, uh, you know, we played Unlimited Adventure. Past few weeks have been a bit hectic. So, now we're back in form to get my butt handed to me by this game once again. Now, notice there was no adjective in front of form. Like, it's not prime form or, or anything. We're just back in form. It's unlimited form. That's 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 what we're in. That's right, a limited form. Yes. Whatever that means. I don't know. <laughs> that means be prepared for anything. Yeah. Uh yeah, so Stephen, how far do you think we're gonna make it in today's episode? I don't know. I wanna say I am gonna say we're gonna get through the cave zone. Okay. Yeah, but we have just an enemy to fight, right? Um, possibly. Yes, I think so. There's only two enemies per one. We fought Arlong last time, weeks ago. Alright, so are we going straight to that orb thing? Mm-hmm. I gotta see what we need. I read the YouTube comments and I was told that where we were going was the right direction. We just had to blow something up. I That's like blowing true. things up. Blowing things up is fun. Alright, I gotta jump across this thing first, though. That's not fun. Shit, I shouldn't kill Frankie yet. Who sucks? Chopper's not gonna do anything. <laughs> sacrifice. Sacrifice your pet. Who are you, Mitt Romney? <laughs> We're doing animal sacrifices after just saving a bunch on D Donkey Kong Country. Yeah. Oh, I think... Break. Alright, which way do we go? Which way do we go? Which way do we go? This way. Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? Which way did he go, George? Which way did he go? <laughs> Used to watch that all the time when I was a kid. Mm hmm. Those that don't know, that is the classic Bugs Bunny cartoon with the gremlin. And you know what that is based off of, right? Those characters? Right, the, uh,. The gremlin, well that's that that's like the gremlin that No, not uh, the gremlin, the, which way did he go, George? Oh that? Mm -hmm. I don't know. No, I don't think so. Of mice and men. Okay. Oh, oh right, of course, of course. Um, Look at me getting all literature. Yeah, I know. Oprah Book of the Month Club over here. Um Yeah, there's a question, do I have a Japanese PS account or only a US one? I do have a Japanese one. Uh it's not I don't know, I, I hate, I'd hesitate to call it, like, a real account. It's basically just a spoof that I created so that I could download demos and DLC and get, things like that. Or get friend coins in um, Kaizuku Musa. Yeah, exactly. That was the most useful thing I've, <laughs> I've ever used it for. So it's, like, it's one of those things where it's, like, my account name is, like, ZXQRPP21, and my uh, password is some garbage that I only put in once at random and saved and I have no idea what it is so uh, anyways uh, no I have not played Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Operation mm -hmm. so um, I guess since we're talking this was asked during the pre-show but we figured we'd save the answer for now um, how did your panel at San Diego Comic Con go? oh it was a lot of fun um, uh, for those of you who don't know, I have a panel every year at, at Comic-Con uh, for manga translators, although it's not specifically just manga. Um, we've had, uh, you know, people that, that do more, like, on the editing side, like, people that have, they've been around a, a long enough to, to know a bit of Japanese and to understand kind of the mindset but don't really know the language, but they do a lot of editing. Uh, there was a guy who was on the topic of Gundam. He was like the the English authority. He's the guy who keeps all of the names and terms straight for all of the English adaptations. Like every time Bandai releases a new Gundam series in the West or something, uh, they'll always check with him. Uh, uh, stuff like that. By the way, this is the little rock that we missed last episode. Once it explodes, that comes all out. Break so loose. that's how close we were last time. <laughs> okay, um... So, so anyways, um, uh, normally we have about five or six people. This year we only had four. 
uh, and we had 90 minutes instead of 60. So it ended up kind of being a lot more talking than uh, for each individual person than we usually do. But it was a uh, it was a lot of fun. Uh, we had a guy on who was his first year who translates novels uh, for the Viz uh, Haikasoru line, which is their kind of sci-fi and fantasy Japanese novels. Uh, he did a a novel adaptation of Metal Gear Solid. Um, Sins of the Patriots, I think, um, that he had, uh, it had just come out, um, and he had it there, and uh, yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. weren't weren't as many people as there usually are. Um, sometimes we have the translator for Naruto there, and that usually brings out a lot of people that I think are like expecting to get free stuff or something because they see the word Naruto. Um, but uh, no, it's always it's always fun. Um, uh, you know, it's sort of tucked into the the corner of the uh, convention, so it, it's uh, you know you kind of have to be be looking for it uh, and, and know exactly where to go if you if you ever want to to check it out. But um, right. it was uh, it was good times. All right, um, I, Stephen, what shouldn't I be wasting right now? Uh, you should not be wasting any of these things. What are you doing, Jason? Too bad. Oh man. Wow. Well, uh, everything's let's... good. Okay, so I need burnt drags, fountain berries, and some cold water crystal thing. Yeah, the burnt dregs, um, hmm. The burnt dregs are good to get uh, when you go to those areas where the, the exploding rocks are around a bunch of uh, bits of grass and, and stuff because then whatever the drops that the grass would have, mm -hmm. like the flowers or the honey or whatnot, will, be, will turn into burnt dregs. Um, the fountain berry. But, uh, fountain berry. That's the blue one, right? Um, or is it? No, that's the that's the blue fruit. Uh, where is the fountain berry? Fountain berries in the jungle, jungle zone. Oh yeah, it's those umbrella trees where if you hit them, they sort of shed water and then they. Well, I guess uh, I should go back to camp and see what I have that I'm not using. Yeah. Plus, who knows if you maybe you have some burnt dregs in the storage or something. Ooh, could I break this thing? This looks breakable. Do I need, like, fuck it, whatever. Mm. No, those are the ones you have to blow up from the other side. Ah. Hey, I just want to... Oh, like, right here I could get a bunch of them, right? He... Yeah, yeah. I got better grass. I didn't get explosive fruit. That's BS. There, I got some. I got some more. All you have to do is run in and out of the cavern and do that about ten times. And... <laughs> Yay! Let's um get Chopper what, leveled what? up a little bit. What brilliant game design. I have a question. If I set these to fire, is there a way to set these to fire? There's a way to set these to fire, right? Can't it, Isn't there, like, something where you could, like, throw fire or something? Um, there might be an item that you can use. Like a bomb type thing. I think I have bombs. That sounds promising. Alright, Jason, you feel like, uh talking about the new stuff that has been leaking out about the movie One Piece Z. Oh yeah, let's talk about One Piece Z. That's a good subject. Um, so One Piece Z is the next One Piece movie to um, come from Toei that won't be in random ugly 3D. Yeah. So um, there was they, a new trailer. What do they do? Yeah, and they they put up the uh, the the official web page for it with some character designs and things. Um, and yeah, I don't know. What did you think of the? Because obviously, you know, when Strong World came out, they had the Strong World designs that were a big deal for, um, right. you know, the the suits and things. What would did you, do? You have any thoughts on the, at least the Straw Hat designs, for this new movie? Did you um, see them? Yeah, I saw them. I don't really have. I think I think it's weird that like um, Usopp has like a 
red mustache and beard and all that stuff. Yeah. And Brooke has a red afro. Lots of red. Yeah, I have to say I'm I'm not a I'm not a big fan of what I've seen uh, so far. It just seems weird. I, yeah, I don't. I don't know. Usa like Usopp's. That's the sort of thing that it's it's sort of like Afro Luffy. It's like it's sort of funny the first time you see it. Right. But but the more it goes on, it's just sort of like okay, dude, you kind of look like a clown, and it's is pretty goofy. I don't know. I mean, maybe you know, maybe he's solely going to be comic relief in the movie, but it's kind of hard to take him seriously when right. He basically looks like he found a Santa beard in his closet or something. <laughs> a Santa beard wouldn't be red. Well, in in the world of One Piece it is. Okay, in the world of One Piece. Sure. Alright, so... Yeah, this should burn some stuff, right? Yes. Alright, and, and, and Locke says Robin is his favorite from the Z designs. Well, I think I know what he likes uh, from his character designs, at least on the female side. Hey, treasure chest. As little clothing as possible. Hmm. I think there's one more place around here where I know I could get the burnt stuff. Right here. Damn it. I didn't get any burned things. So Yeah, they're pointing out they're pointing out too that uh, Usopp and Fire's Frank or Frankie's fire attacks can have the same effect. So they can burn you get burnt dregs. Oh. Good to know. <laughs> Uh, let's see the storehouse. Let's see, take out. Um, do I have any fountain berries? Yes, I have fountain berries. Good. You don't have to go do that. How, was that just one? Let's see, let me check. I also have burnt drugs. Um, yeah, you only need one fountain berry. How many burnt three... drugs do I need? And uh, three ice shards. Do you have any ice shards? No, but how, how, how many burnt drugs do I need? You need 30. So take out as many as you have. I have 11. How do I get the ice shards? Uh, let's see what the Wakatu says. Ice shards. Enter mountain zone from the cave zone. Dig the X marks in this area. So I guess if we take that shortcut that's back in the cave to the... Hold on. What is Frankie's uh, fire attack? Do I have it yet? Um, yeah, look at his... Press C on Frankie. Or for his list. Oh, he needs the frickin' shoot, I gotta level Frankie up a bit. So let's go to Mountain Zone and do that. Because I need to use the dash so I could unlock the waggle, and then once I unlock the waggle, I could do, because I think it's the his jump air, right? His jumping attack? Um, I don't know, we'll see what the, the uh, geniuses in the chat say. Thank you, geniuses. Which is the mountain zone? There's the forest. There's the... Where's the mountain zone? Mm, let's see. That, that might be... Well... That's the forest. That's the beach area. Not sure if we've actually been there. Uh, we haven't been to the mountain. See walk through above. Um... Okay, there should be, um, let's see, go back to the cave zone. Uh, there was, did we destroy all the purple rocks? Because it's one of those things where you had to use the, uh, um, you had to use the, uh, the upgraded pickaxe to get through. So go, go back to that main area. Really? Stop fighting these jerks. Final stop. Oh, I see it. Aha! Waggle, 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 waggle. Yeah, that's the one. I am so smart. Okay, so now we get to dig. And it, yeah, and this, and there will be uh, spots in the ground, and you should be able to get them from there. Ice shard. So how many ice shards did I need? Uh, you need three, I believe. Yes, three. 
Do I have to make the freeze balls or no? I just need the. Sh well, this yeah, is the perfect place to get that stuff. Who's breaking this thing though? Do I need lumber? You always need lumber. Okay. Did you get, uh, how many of the crystals did you get? I only got two, so I gotta go All back right. up. Time to dig. Dig, 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 dig. I should probably get the other one as well and not keep myself at three. So, any questions from the chat while we work our magic? Uh, Trick the TM says, since Otakon did not give you guys a panel, uh, you went and got your own convention with blackjack and hookers. Pretty much. Do you agree? Yeah. Pretty much? Mm-hmm. Nothing wrong with that. It's a succinct uh, description of the state of events. Yeah. So if you like fun... Alright, so now you just need the burnt dregs. Yeah, but I want to charge Frankie's thing, because now I got the master nail thingy, and once I charge that up to level whatever, then we get Frankie's fire attack, which should make things easier. I don't know if it's easier to just find all the volcano thingies, or just do this. Well, it never hurts to uh, power the guys up. Frankie's getting plenty hurt. He's surrounded by like a dozen guys. Are you saying I should use the pickaxe? Well, no, because that's not going to actually uh, power up any of your moves. I don't need your logic. Yes, you do. My logic is what's keeping us afloat. This is so stupid. I want to power up my weapon already. I'm using it like all the time. Let me power it up. Is there like an easy way to power up weapons so I'm not like doing this like a hundred times? Power up weapons? Or power up moves, I mean. For Frankie, moves are weapons. That's true. Um, I don't know if there's an easy way, it's just using them. It'd be nice if when they hit, they actually do damage. Yeah, it doesn't seem to be doing anything to them. Oh, come on, what the hell? I've killed like... Four guys with this attack, and it's still on like level two. Let's go kill Frankie a little bit. So, guys, what's up? <laughs> so, um, yeah. Any um, movies upcoming that you're planning on seeing, Steven? Um, about Dark Knight Rises, I guess. Yeah, I have screening but that's, passes. That's, that's that. about it. I have screening passes to see that before anybody else that actually wants to see the movie. Go me, right? Oh, there you go. Got to level up on the, the master nail. So, the, is the master nail the one that you need for the fire attack? I think so. Let's check the status. Yes, I need to get it to level five. Then I get his air attack, and then I don't give a crap anymore. Yeah, Caesar says Dark Knight and then Hobbit, and that's 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 about it for me too. Yeah, I want to see Hobbit as well. Now, do you think they're gonna do the forty-eight frames per second or whatever, or how's that gonna go down? I don't know. I mean, it's it's sort of weird because like they they seem to be really confident about it. Like, you know, it's it's obviously a a big risk to take. But on the other hand, all the 
word of mouth seems to be that it looks really weird uh, like that. So um, I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But yeah, no, I've been, I've, uh, I, I'm really excited about that. And, uh, you know, like I, I like the uh, Lord of the Rings films and, and they're great. But when I was a kid, you know, I, I read the Lord of the Rings trilogy once maybe in The Hobbit like half a dozen times. So I'm definitely way more excited about this than, uh, uh, than the other ones. Also, we have Watson in the film. That's true. And Sherlock, in the second one at least. Yeah, that's true. And we have uh, Sherlock in um, Star Trek Two coming up. That's true as well. Yeah. Is that is that next year? I don't know when that is. Yeah, I haven't seen any like ads for it, so I would assume that it's not coming out for a while. Yeah. Yeah. God, they need to like finish filming all those so they could get back to season three of Sherlock. Yeah. Okay, so Jason, did you see, did you watch the Marvel panel? I did not watch the panel, but I read the live blog about it. Okay. Um, Ant-Man, Edgar Wright, awesome. I mean, you know at the um, San Diego Comic-Con, they also talked about At World's End, or whatever that new Edgar Wright movie is going to be, to finish off the Three Flavors Cornetta trilogy, right? Oh, yeah. Hopefully that finish says that, and I don't know why I'm trying to catch these guys with a freaking. <laughs> Wouldn't it have been awesome if I caught that bug that was flying around, like with? That? Yeah, the bug is just flying around in the middle of a battle. Right. That would be pretty great. Oh my god. Frickin... So you're trying to get it to level 5? Yeah, because that's what unlocks this. That's what I need, okay. We'll get to Crocodile eventually, folks. Yeah. Because we need the... This is the... It, it, this is like the... It's the blessing and the curse of games that have a system where you know, things power up the more that you use them specifically, um, which means that, you know, if you like an attack and you use it a lot, uh, you know, it'll get a lot more powerful, but then if you have to power up the really crappy ones, it just means you have to use them over and over again, and you just feel like pulling your hair out because, uh, uh, you know, you have to just put up with it for ages. Right. <laughs> So, uh, Trick the TM says, uh, uh, back on the, the topic of the movies, uh, since we're getting a Guardians of the Galaxy movie, what obscure Marvel characters do you want to get a movie? His, his choice is Next Wave. Uh, I think a lot of people are itching for Black Panther. I don't know any... The only uh, character... I don't even know if this is Marvel or if it's DC, but the only character that I remember when I was a kid... Uh, that uh, my friends were into that was not X-Men was Dark Hawk. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, you're not talking to a big comic person. No, I mean, that's that's literally like the only comic thing I know. Although, actually, when I was at Comic-Con, I did uh, pick up a huge, like, thousand-page uh, Walking Dead compendium, which was like 48 issues. So I'm going to read that. That's that's my American Comics news for the year. Yeah. Well, we're about halfway through leveling this off one more. I think I'm going to exit, though, the place. Or at least try to find... Oh, there we go. There's more enemies. A whole group of them. Unlimited nails. Yeah. 
So, uh, any TV shows of interest that you've been watching? Oh, tonight is Breaking Bad. Oh. Oh, 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 I'm so excited. That's another show I have to eventually watch. Yeah, it's funny. Like, it seems like everyone I know who was curious about it has been watching it. Like, my sister was watching it uh, uh, all of this last month or so. And I guess they just put season four up on Instant Watch uh, just in time for the uh, season five premiere. But, uh, hmm. yeah, that's that's going to be awesome. Yeah, you should probably not run directly into the lava. Yeah, 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 that's probably not a good idea. Oh, freaking hell. Oh, look, here's another thing where I could get potentially more of them. Why do I need 30? That's evil. The Well, the irony is probably that I'm sh you've probably gotten, like, 60 of them throughout the course of the game, but they're easy... Uh, fodder for filling up the point meter, so. Yeah, don't remind me. Wasted it, yeah. Like the frickin' grass. Exactly. Sure. Well, at least, you know, you're stocking up on other items while we're doing this. Hey! I'm almost finished leveling up Frankie. S attack. Sweet. And then we get to go on to playing the game. Imagine that. I know, right? So, yeah. So, yes. God damn it. It really is evil how they do with Sherlock. Where it's like, hey, it'll be a year and a half before you see another episode. Mm -hmm. That's why they should stop ending up seasons on mysteries and stuff. Yeah. Do, do I like hamburger steak? Um, actually, I'm a vegetarian. I've been vegetarian for about 15 years, so how dare you ask me that question, you sick pervert. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but not about being vegetarian. I'm serious. Oh. <laughs> oh, you've... Ah, we've, we've converted Caesar to watching Sherlock. Oh. What, well what, done, sir. What were, what were his uh, thoughts? Uh, let's see. I'm assuming he's he said the the only ones on Netflix, so that's probably season one. Yeah. But uh, good stuff. So did you get the you got the Blu-rays, Jason? Yes. I cool, do. cool. I yeah, I'm probably thinking uh, I'll probably get them sometime. I uh, I actually just recently uh, bought a second IKEA bookshelf because I uh, uh, you know I, I've been. Um, Let's see. Oh, there's Master Nail level five. Excellent. Wait, hold on. Um, it seems like I just have like the cannonball thing. Is that gonna work? Um, I swear, if I've been yep, doing this for probably. no reason, someone's going to suffer. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure it'll work. Have faith. Um, uh, yeah. Basically, once I realized that uh, you know I'm gonna need not only 65 volumes of One Piece in Japanese, but also 65 in English, plus a bunch of, uh, you know, other books for other long series that I'm working on. I need an extra shelf, so now I have all this room for my DVDs and things. So uh, I've been thinking of what other Oops. TV sets to get. Ah. Uh, yeah, I mean, I would do Sherlock. Because, you know, that's a show that you could show anyone and they'll pretty much like it. Yeah. All right, this isn't working out. I'm pissed. I thought you said Frankie's fire attack. <sighs> keep, keep, keep doing it, and make sure that, uh, just to make sure that if, because, because it, it'll only turn the burnt dregs. It'll turn other items into burnt dregs if they were going to drop from the grass. So. In other words, maybe you just weren't getting any items from from those. You have to keep trying. Well, let's try right here. How's this going to work for us? It's not. Jason, I'm not a fan of this attitude. Where's oh, the... too many items. 
No, I have the burnt drugs. It would go to there if I got burnt drugs. Oh, screw you and your intruders. Where the hell is that place with the frickin... <sighs> I didn't mark it down on my map. Well, if you're... Well, Jason, go to your inventory because... Here it is. You can only take... You can only have, what, like 20 items in a single space? All right, so we'll drop the lumber. How funny would it have been if I dropped something I needed? Hey, bitter grass, bitter grass, bitter grass. Guess what else is bitter? Yeah, the other thing is Usopp. Usopp can do it too. Or he can do a... A fire attack as well. How? How? So you're at what, uh, what, like 21 or 22 dregs now? Yeah. See, look, medicinal. Hmm. All right. So you're saying Usopp? What attack of his is fire? Well, he's. I mean, doesn't he? He, he could probably use his uh, flame star. I mean, it's, again, it's probably something we don't have yet, but never hurts to level up. Um, limited leveling. Unlimited training, that's what this one's going to be. I swear to God. So, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Oh, oh. What we really need, Jason, is is we need to get like uh, one of those training montage songs, like on a loop in like in a boombox in the background, and you can just play it you continually mean, like, from the throughout. Team America soundtrack. Yes, exactly, uh, and just play that continually through an entire episode. Oh montage. God. It's gotta be a montage. There we go. Uh. Yeah, there we go. Rocky theme song. Dur -dur -dur. Dur -dur -dur. I am sick of trying to find these freaking. I think I'm just going to go in and out of the cave. I think that's our best bet. So just remember, it's right here. So, okay, it's pretty close to the entrance. If I don't get hit by the damn. Nope, not that way. So, yeah, um, have, now I've also been watching Tron Uprising. I don't know if there's any other Tron bands, but it's pretty good. Is that a, uh, a CG or cartoon? Yes, it's cartoon. Mm. Yeah, I've, uh, now what, what is that on? Is that a... It's on Disney XD. Disney, Disney XD, okay. Yeah. yeah, I've actually been watching another show that just started, um, uh, on the Disney Channel, Gravity Falls. I don't know if you've seen the title mentioned, but it's, um, it's sort of like a, mm -hmm. a cartoon take on, uh, X-Files meets, like, Twin Peaks or something like that. It's, uh, I mean, it's a, it's a kid's sh show, so there's... You know, it's not scary or anything, but uh, it's got some pretty good uh, humor. It's almost like a, a Cartoon Network right. Adventure Time style of, of humor, but um, really, uh, really cool background art and uh, and everything, and um, a good good vibe to it, which is a uh, uh, pretty neat. I never actually thought that I would I would watch or care about a show on the Disney Channel, but there yeah, you go. Yeah, me either. But I'm a big Tron fan, so. I like Tron. Hey, look at that. We got another freaking lump. Uh, another attack of Usopp's. Isn't that nice? Isn't that precious? Oops, this is apparently a key that I need to open my window. Get some ventilation. Hmm. Nah. 
So, uh, let's Nothing see. happened. Hmm. Uh. Oh, snap. How many do I have now? 24. You're sure it's 30? 30 seems a bit excessive. Yep, it is 30. Um, let's see, I've got a couple questions here. Uh, do I think Caesar Clown could do a music montage? Um, like a... You'd be, is this like because he, he sort of looks like a character that David Bowie would play in the <laughs> 80s? Or, or, or what? I'm... I'm not sure. Um, also, did I get free popsicle from the OP ice cream truck? I did not. Um, it was the different day from the one that I went to to Comic Con, and my schedule did not really work out to um, mm. to go do that. I, I would have liked to, but um, if they do something like, or if they, I mean, not necessarily the ice cream truck, but if they do another fan meetup next year, and I have uh, my schedule works out better, I would definitely like to uh, to show up and hang out with the dudes. Right. Do you think um, Toby should do a One Piece musical filler episode? Um, no. <laughs> I don't think they should do anything musical at all, ever. Do <laughs> did you did you save Jason? What? No, I haven't saved yet. You should. Yeah, yeah. Trick the team is pointing out you should save and store your items so that you uh, are ready. Hold on. Hold on. I should go back to Uso. And power up. The, another thing that happened, uh, kind of a, a head scratcher, I think, to most people involved, uh, is that there's apparently going to be a new One Piece game on PSP. Yeah. That is an RPG, which is is really odd. I mean, it's obviously we've only seen the first, basically leaked. Uh, jump video game page that, that had some screenshots and they, they put up a teaser site that has like nothing on it. But um, it, it's kind of odd, like particularly that they're advertising Morgan as like, this is the first shot you see of the game is Luffy fighting Morgan. Uh, and it's, it's, of course Alvita. it's called, yeah, and of course it's called One Piece Romance Dawn. So it makes me wonder, like, is it is it literally just going to be like the really early stuff. Morgan's or... going to be the boss of the game. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. We'll see. I mean, it's, it almost seems kind of crazy to think that they could do a a One Piece game without all of the current crew. Um, so I'm not sure about that, although I, I did see people point out that of the two screenshots, or two or three that are out there, one of them is sort of like a status screen, and there's room for nine faces on the bottom. So... Probably they they will have all of the crew, but um, yeah, I don't know. It's 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 an odd decision. I like that it's an RPG, um, and they they pointed out it's it'll be turn based, but not entirely, which makes me guess that it's probably going to be sort of like a uh, Paper Mario style thing, where mm. you know, like you do an attack, and then if you time it right, like when they hit and you press the button, maybe it does extra damage or something like that. Um, yeah, there's been a lot of. Uh... Neat little One Piece things. Like, um, next month we're going to have the Nami flashback uh, reanimated kind of right. thing. Right. Yeah, well, it's it's definitely seems clear that they've had a... Basically, anything they could think of for the 15th anniversary, they are pulling out all the stops uh, this year. Yeah. Uh, but, I mean, even Toei's now doing a new uh, Dragon Ball um, right. movie. Right. New Dragon Ball movie. Yeah, um, yes, for the questions, uh, PSP is region-free. Um, I'm not quite sure why they didn't do this for the Vita. Um, uh, like Jason I said, did... they've been, they had to be planning this for a while, and the reason I say it is because years ago, on one of the chapter title pages, they said like a One Piece PSP game is coming, and a One Piece DS game is coming, and this was even years before there was a One Piece DS game. Mm, so they were probably talking about Gigan Battle in that one. Yeah, but and I guess this one just had some development hell, because I, I think it was always supposed to be a mm. Romance Dawn game. Interesting. Yeah, I, I don't know. So, yeah, maybe that maybe that explains it. Um, 
but yeah, PSP is still huge in Japan, basically because of Monster Hunter. Um, uh, Jason, you really need to store stuff. After and... I get the final burnt drag, I'll go back. All right, all right, all right. Um, but uh, yeah, it's yeah, uh, I got it, it. It's okay, good. Um, kind of a head head scratcher, I guess, in, in a little way. But um, I'm I'm personally excited about that. Like I I I love RPGs, and obviously I will I will play any One Piece game. Um, mm. So that's uh, that's uh, interesting. Yeah. So forty minutes later, we'll be getting to. <laughs> Storehouse. Store. What should I store? What don't I need? I don't need the fucking bug. I don't need the Den Den Mushi thing. I don't need the volcanic rock. I don't need the gunpowder. I'll probably need the red fruit later. You should probably store the diamond crystals just so you don't accidentally use them. I thought I need those right now. No, it's the ice crystals. I'm thinking about the other ones in the, the middle. Diamond fragments? Yeah. Wait, or these? Yeah, those. Ice shards are what you need now. Okay. I think that's good, right? Um... I got the berry. I got this shit. I got this stuff. We're good. Let me just save it. Are you ready for some pickaxe action? Alright. Yes, I did catch uh, Toonami last night. I like Dead Man Wonderland still. I don't know. I'm not the biggest fan of Cashern. But, you know, I don't know. Cashern's just gotten in. It's starting to wear on me because it's just the same formula over and over and over and over. Mm hmm. Yeah, unfortunately, I don't I don't watch Toonami, so I can't really uh, add anything to the discussion. All right, who do we not like? Chopper or Robin? I did Chopper. Chopper, if you fall in the lava. Hey, he didn't fall in the lava. Don't just sound so disappointed about it. All right. I, I love that the pickaxe is like bigger than chopper. <laughs> yeah. Mhm. Mm uh, where do I import Japanese games from? I always use PlayAsia. Um, they uh, they they seem to to work pretty good. Um, I've never really had any major uh, issues with them. Um, the only minor annoyances I've had or, you know, like issues where I was trying to order a couple items and, like, some of them were in stock and some of them were maybe pre-orders or they were supposed to come in after a week and they ended up taking a while to restock it. And so my order didn't ship until a lot later than they said. But, yeah. you know, that's that, that stuff happens everywhere, so... Um, I remember we had kind of like a little contest going on when with Kaizo Kamuso shipping out like who'd get it first. Oh yeah, yeah. And I was supposed to get it, but then the post office or the the postal service delayed it for a day, so Jason beat me. Yes, and I streamed it that night as soon as I got it for the fans. For the fans. That's right. Ah fuck. All right, let's switch to Frankie just to get him ready. Just to warm him up. He's super. We could we're activating the orb. All right, guys, this is it. This is it right here. Alright, so now what? I go here? Wait, what? Let's see. 
I'm not, what, what, how do I get there? That's not cool. Wait, I'm confused. What do I do? Um, let's see. Smash the wall. Yeah, it just says smash the level wall with the pickaxe. Oh. I wasn't seeing things come out of it, so I was confused. Uh, Alright, I, I wasn't using the pickaxe yet. I was reserving it. That's what happened. Hey, animal cruelty, animal cruelty. Yeah, that's messed up. PETA should uh, protest this game. Okay, yeah, there's a water element to this. What? There's a water element that you can use to... Is that something I don't have yet? Um, I don't know, actually. <laughs> it's kind of funny. There's literally, like, no instruction in the walkthrough. It just says, fight the boss. <laughs> Use the pickaxe. Crocodile looks weird, like a big forehead. Alright, pickaxe time. Pickaxe time! Let's cope. You know this is gonna be bad, right? Oh, yeah. I leveled up Frankie, and now I'm just gonna use the pickaxe, because that makes so much sense. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. That's why I'm gonna do it. Hey, 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 hey. Not cool, not cool. Hey. Uh oh. This isn't working out well. <laughs> Alright. I don't think the pickaxe is working. Oh no, we don't have a plan B. <laughs> What's plan B? Chopper, you're almost dead. Go! <laughs> Go with your long-range attacks. Keep throwing. Oh, that didn't work out. Long-range attacks. Long-range attacks. That's plan B. Oh, no. This is bad. Um, uh, uh, wheel of morality, turn, turn, turn. <laughs> Zoro, go! <laughs> oh boy. Wheel of fortune here. Hey! Use hockey. That's the suggestion from the chat. Um. Uh. Oh. Sanji, go. <laughs> <laughs> no, Sanji. Can you knock him into the waterfall somehow? I don't know. Um, well, if you think about it, you know, you really, you need blood in order to harden his sand into something you can hit anyway, so these are really more like, uh, necessary sacrifices. Robin, go! Oh. <laughs> mm, oh, run under the waterfall and then attack. Really? Try it. It's a CDG game, CDG game. Where's the waterfall? I can, I can never say that quickly. Uh, 
in the corners. See where the white stuff is in the ground? <laughs> Use the Schwartz. <laughs> Whatever. This is. This is um. End. This is where we lose. <laughs> you chose poorly. <clears throat> Nami. Secret weapon, Nami. Go. She said, "Leave it to her," and then she gets her ass kicked. What the hell's this? Oh. 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 <laughs> oh, now you just made him mad. <laughs> Shit. All right. Um, do I have Luffy's secret attack yet? Yes, I do. CNA. All right, cool. gonna do like 10% of the damage you need. Oh shit! Speaking of 10% uh, of the damage, I just took it. Oh boy, this is not good at all. We just lost. You're doing, you're doing so bad, you just killed my computer. <laughs> oh, it brings me back here. A secret wish? I'll tell you what I wish. I wish I didn't blow all my healing potions. <laughs> I hear thunder. Okay, so let's see what I can do to help myself. Compounding? Mm. Can I make any of these? Yeah, you could see if you can make any um, recipes and things. Of course, we spent all that time collecting stuff that was not food. What's this? Um, what's this thing? Mm. Um. CDJ says, make a stove. How? Stove, you need ten handy rocks and three lumbers. Wow. Hmm. Let's just try to fight him again. What could go wrong? Hmm. So, um, yeah. What the fuck? What the fuck? <laughs> this isn't planned well. It's not cool because they're not timed correctly to the... I'm just going to die, aren't I? Yep. <laughs> I like how they face me back. It's like, are you sure you want... <laughs> are you sure you want to do this? Okay, Luffy's dead now. What's that? 
I'm just watching the show. I'm getting some snacks. Alright. So I need lumber and what else? Rocks. I'm pretty sure I have rocks, right? Mm-hmm. Where does this go? Let's try leveling up Zoro a little bit. How's that? Sure. Because Zoro was doing the most damage. Oh, he says it's a kitchen, which is five lumber, three clay, and three steel stone. Okay. I'm not sure about the steel stone. That may be the tricky part. Alright. This is where I fought far along. Hey, I leveled up an attack. Alright, um, so I need to get my double A to level 6 and then I get my triple A. Hmm. They're saying you need to break the purple walls for the steel stone, but someone says you have the steel already. Are you sure I didn't waste it? I'm not. Thank you for your overall confidence. So I need to get lumber then. I think you have lots of lumber. Or did you get rid of it? I think I got rid of it. Oh, you, you used it for the points, didn't you? Yeah. I hear thunder. Well, if you go back to that little, um, the, the quick uh, tunnel to the mountain zone where you got the ice stuff, there was the tree there. You could do that really quick. Yeah, I'm just trying to level up um, Zora a little bit. And you do need the ice crystals for, like, any recipe that involves ice. Really? I need ice crystals for any recipe that involves ice? Well, there was one in Sanji's... A uh, list that had ice crystals as one of the ingredients. I don't know. I don't know. Bum, bum, bum. And I don't know. I really suck at this game. We've only been playing it for 10 hours. Jason comes to his sobering truth. <laughs> Ooh, did you hear that one? Yeah, I heard that one. Nice. This episode may come to a unflattering end. <laughs> when Jason gets hit by lightning. Come on, I should freaking have level 6 for this damn attack already. I do. Oh, I need it for the single sword as well. Mm. Fine. Uh, who? What character should I level up now? Sanji. Yeah, I feel like we haven't used a lot of Sanji. 
Alright, Sanji. Yeah, we haven't used a lot of Sanji at all. For Sanji, it's pretty much use all of your attacks. Part of it is because I don't remember where the damn winter place is. Well, you gotta get back to that main. Right here, right? Room. There it is. And then it's sort of down the hall. No, it's not here. Is it here? Ah, it's right here. So, any um, chats from uh, <laughs> the chat? Um, no, they were they were trying to help us figure out what we need for the kitchen, but I don't think we'll know until we actually get back and look at the storehouse and everything. Well, I got see what, lumber. See what we actually have. I got more ice shards. There we go. Jason got lots of wood. Hmm. <laughs> Now you can't, can you actually break that ice to get the chest inside? I think I need something to melt it. Mm. Just a hunch. Oh yeah, since we uh, didn't have any One Piece in Alpha this week, did you read Barrage? Yes, I did read Barrage. What are you thinking of Barrage? Uh, I don't know. It hasn't really, like after the first chapter or two, with the novelty of the setting and the Mm -hmm. um, you know, idea. It hasn't really done a whole lot for me. Right. Um, Who builds this though, Frankie or Usopp? Probably Frankie. Um, and of course, we did get new news about uh, Alpha at Comic Con. Yeah. Uh, um, they are. I'll sp they're bringing in what Blue Exorcist, uh, which they've already been releasing, but now they're going to have it in the magazine. I think that's a, that's a monthly one, I believe. Isn't that right? Right. So they'll probably be like uh, Yu-Gi-Oh and uh, the Rurouni Kenshin reboot, where they'll they'll put it in once a month. Yeah. Now, do uh, you think if they have like four once a month ones, they'll put each one at a different week? That's pro that's what I would assume they would do. Mm -hmm. Um, and then and then they have a new series called uh, Takama Gahara, I think yeah. is the the I gotta, title. Which I gotta yeah. say, I'm disappointed because. There was another one that started after Barrage and between this new right. one that they announced where it's like a guy with a creepy face kind of thing. I'm like, hey, that looks pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool if we got an alpha. No, we got generic looking dude. Yeah, there was a, a series Assassination Classroom, which I think uh, has has made a good splash um, by the author of uh, Nero, um, or Nero, whatever you want to call it. Um and that uh, that that's been pretty funny. I've I've read the first couple chapters in Jump, um, and I have on the on the other hand I have not heard anything good about the other series. And apparently that's the one that they went to uh, to put into the magazine. And I can understand, you know, there's a sort of uh, there there's a style that sells well in America uh, as far as like shonen stuff. You know, it tends to be like the more sort of classic battle. Adventure style um, right. series, but um, here we go again. Um, thank you, thank you. Yeah. The uh, yeah, I don't know. It it doesn't sound like it's going to be around for very long. So I guess we'll see. Well, less chapters to translate. Sanji's already dead. This isn't going well. What water? What else could I do right now? Probably use more Robin's moves? Yeah, I don't think we've used a lot of Robin. Okay. Yeah. I think uh, we're at that point where I'm going to have to start playing this and just to level up characters. Yeah, that's not a, that's not a bad idea. 
Um, Trick TM says we should fish. Why fish? Um, why? 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 Well, why? You can, you can use the fish for recipes. All right, I think there's a cave in here where I could fish, right? Uh, yeah, actually, I think there is. Shit, Robin's dead. How did that happen? She's not a fighter. What have you done? This episode's going to be called Unlimited Filler. <laughs> <laughs> yes. There it is. <laughs> That's our uh, number one nominee so far for the episode title. Too big a crocodile didn't work out as well. Yeah. We've really tarnished the legacy of the pickaxe with this episode. <laughs> oh no! I'm sorry. I apologize. Oh well, this will be this will be this is like our DBZ training episode. It's just uh, you know, Goku in a capsule uh doing crunches and pull ups and shooting himself with his uh uh, power blasts for three years. I like. Is that doing anything? <laughs> well, it's apparently helping for your combo thing. Hey, I got my triple A attack. Nice. Maybe that's what we need to be Crocodile. I say, now that we have the triple attack, we're good to fight Crocodile. Let me just go heal everyone. It's the missing link. Yes. I mean, I think so, don't you? Of course. I'm not, I'm not the one who actually has to fight him. You're the one that just has to suffer through this. <laughs> That's true. Our goal is to beat Crocodile before Otakon. <laughs> yeah, chat is reminding you to save. Don't tempt fate. All right, guys, are you ready to do this again? Who sucks? Chopper. This way, if he dies on the way. We're good. There's still hope. And this time with Frankie, we'll actually use him for fighting purposes. Watch out, Crocodile. He's going to spit a bunch of nails at you. Yes. You know what? I think the problem with the pickaxe is we upgraded it. Because that's when it lost its magic. Mm. It got too heavy. He couldn't swing it as fast. Yeah. Before it was like a leaf on the wind. <laughs> we have a suggestion that you should uh, do a live stream at the uh, OPP con. If we have a TV and everything, we, we will do that. I just need to, you know, bring my computer. <laughs> just uh, set it up in the uh, pizza place that oh, fuck. who knows or whatever it was. Hey, 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 hey. Haha, -ha, we made it. We made it, guys. Hooray. Yeah, I don't know what resources we're going to have at the OPP con just because, you know, things cost money. And fortunately, we're not rich rock stars or anything. Mm. Ooh, a live stream One Piece filler marathon. That actually sounds like it could be fun. If you no. just pick out like the worst filler, no. the worst filler, and no. just make fun of it the entire no. time. No, 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 no. We try to do a commentary for movie eight. There's a reason that was never released. <laughs> it's painful. And isn't the director of movie eight the guy who did Z? What? 
Isn't isn't the director of movie eight the one who directed the new movie? What? Don't say that. I don't want to know that. Yes, I knew it. I was right. Suddenly, I'm less excited for Z. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I still haven't watched the trailer. I don't know. It's the sort of thing where I'm, I'm probably not going to see it until like a year after it comes out or whatever anyways. so You're like, why get excited? Right, exactly. Although now that I've, uh, of course, I, I bought Strong World on DVD, and I did not realize that uh, at the time that, uh, you know, that in the Blu-ray regions that, you know, we're actually in the same region as Japan. Yeah. Uh, and so I ended up doing a thing, you know, where, like, I have one DVD drive in my computer, uh, and you can, like, switch it five times between the different... Right. Uh, uh, regions before it actually locks and finalizes, right. and so I I wasted two of those, so I could watch it and then turn it back, and then I was like, well, I don't want to do this every time I want to watch the movie, so then I just downloaded a rip of it. Oh, um, I have two DVD drives, one for each region. Yeah, I think I actually have I, I actually have a spare DVD drive that I bought just for that, but I was too lazy right. to to hook it up inside the the case. I'm surprised you just didn't get the Blu-ray. <laughs> yeah, I should have. Well, actually, the reason why I, I, is because uh, I uh, the only Blu-ray drive we have is my roommate's PS3, um, mm -hmm. and so if if he ever moves, then I'd have to buy a new one. I mean, I'd probably buy a PS3 anyways. But yeah. you know, I like I like being able to watch it on my computer, and so I don't I don't have a Blu-ray drive on my holy on my shit. PC. Chopper, don't get some damage on him. Okay, we got him a little bit. Who's our next victim, guys? Guys, I'll let you choose who who dies next. Who who seriously, who 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 should we off next? Robin. Robin. Hey, look, she leveled up. So, unless I beat him, that means nothing. Should I use a healing pat potion? Um, or should I save that for later when I'm getting owned? You could use one for like each character or something. Too late. Who dies next? <laughs> Who dies next? You could dodge in the game. I keep forgetting to. Who dies next? Nami or Usopp? Usopp, uh, uh, Usopp first and then Nami. All right, who's up the Nami? Yeah, Nami, Nami is kind of a trump card. It's a good point. Hey. All right. Oops. Who who did I select? Nami? Um, Nami next? No, save save her for... Oh, shit. I'm already fighting with her. Yeah. Hey. Smileys? What about smileys? Okay, so you just wanted to say smileys. Smileys? Smileys! Smileys! I can't, I can't do it. Alright, who dies next? <laughs> um, did you do Frankie yet? No. It should be Frankie. And then the you gotta save the big, you gotta save the big three for last. 
Oh, fuck. Uh, it doesn't help if I run into a sandstorm now, does it? Shit! This isn't good because <laughs> you were down to about two or three characters the last time when he busted out the poison hook, too. Yeah. Um. Oh, shit. <laughs> Sanji. Oh, dear. Well, maybe with Zoro's AAA, we'll have more luck. Come on, don't, 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 don't kill Sanji that quickly. Crocodile is seriously, he's showing you who the boss is right now. See you in a while, Crocodile. Alright, Zoro or Luffy? Hmm. I go Zoro. Zoro? Even though he's better. First mate has to die for the captain. What the fuck? I was about to use my special attack and he went to a cutscene. And now mm. I don't have the special attack stuff anymore. I have the mix. Alright, I'm gonna have to use the mix pad. This was a this was a doomed attempt from the start. <laughs> How do I think Punk Hazard is going? I think it is going well. The uh, the last chapter in Jump was uh, a bit of a dud. Um, a lot of people seem to like I think, it. Mm, I don't know. I, w I wasn't uh, I wasn't a big fan. Um, they're they're probably it's probably one of two or three chapters that have act that have not been good as opposed to. The other ones, which have all been good to incredible, uh, so we'll see. But um, you know, it always hurts when, at least the last time when he did a break, it was um, you know right as uh, the the new character cliffhanger happened, right. and so there was something to look forward to. Whereas I don't think there was a very good, or there wasn't a strong hook for this uh, most recent chapter, and then he took a break again. So yeah, I think we'll see. Shit, we're up to Luffy. Um, I think uh, it would have been great if he did a break after the whole Doflamingo thing. Yeah, that would have been a good uh, good stopping point. Alright, alright. Fuck. Alright, get ready to die, Luffy. Um, no, it wasn't a holiday. It's just another issue where everything else is happening and One Piece isn't in the magazine. Yeah, it's called, um, I wish I had another character to do the poison with. Alright, come on. Come on. Come on. Oh, get close. Fuck. Heal. Heal a son. Oh, shit. Yeah. We Excellent. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we really need a soundboard. Oh man. So we did it. We beat Crocodile. At this rate, by the time we get to the last boss of the game, it's going to take like three episodes <laughs> worth of fighting. Another ball has been cracked. <laughs> Ouch. <laughs> I guess I did kind of wear them all out. All right, let's just, you know, skip through this. We didn't really talk about that much this episode, did we? <laughs> you wake up. So I guess we're going to the mountain zone next, eh? Mm-hmm. Where we get gear second. Yeah. 
Yeah, one thing that we do want to do uh, is if you have this, if you have more of the steel stones, five of them, that will make the upgraded net, which will need to catch fire bugs and things, mm. all sorts of baddies. Yep. Let's kick Evil Demon's butt. Yeah, how about games? We haven't talked about games. Um, Actually, uh, one movie I did want to mention, though, was I saw Tokyo mm -hmm. Drifter recently. A oh, right. Yeah, you mentioned Japanese that. Japanese film. Very good. Very stylized. Very well done. It's pretty cool. It's pretty much about, like, you know, there's this gang. They want to go legit. Other gangs not going to allow that, pretty much. So you know you have this drifter. And mm -hmm. It's a, it's a it's a pretty really cool movie. Just just see it. It's one of the Criterion releases. Basically, Criterion has a sale, usually around every July, um, where it's fifty percent off at Barnes and Noble off all Criterion titles. And Criterion puts out a bunch of international movies as well as. Um, domestic classics. Yeah, they probably put out more international movies than any other company. Yeah, but they also put out like Charlie Chaplin. Like I picked up The Great Dictator. I picked up Modern Times. I picked up also from them uh, Blowout, which is uh, with John Lithgow and um, John Travolta, which is a very good movie as well. They also put out Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas. Mm-hmm. All right. Should we even bother trying to go to this place, or? Well, first save. Don't. I did save. That's right. Okay. I'm on. I'm on a lag. All right. All right. What do I need for the? Oh, I do have a fishing rod. All right. To the mountain place. That is the next area. I don't know if you'll be able to get very far. It depends on. What, uh... Let's see if I have to fight anybody. Oh, right, because of this right here. That's why I didn't go there before. Hey, want to watch me fish? Oh, yeah. All right, guys, we're going to do some fishing action. But, uh, yeah, so the uh, this week... Um... I picked up uh, Quantum Conundrum, which just came out on the consoles. It had been out on PC, um, which, uh, if you're not familiar with it, is a downloadable game by one of the designers of Portal. Uh, and it has a very similar uh, style uh, of puzzle solving, you know, sort of first-person 3D. Um, and it's been uh, it's been pretty fun. I've uh, I've really been enjoying it. It's a pretty hard game, which is um, a nice. And it uh, it, ha it has a ton of content. Like for a downloadable title, I've been playing probably put at least six to eight hours into it so far, and I'm like maybe halfway done. I think. Um, yeah, it has the uh, the voice of Q from Star Trek um, as their sort of narration voiceover. Uh, sorts of humor, um, and uh, yeah, it's been pretty fun. Uh, if you if you are a Portal fan, there there are a few quibbles I have with it. They they do ask you to do a lot of like kind of precise jumping, which is hard to do in a first person setup, and the controls are a little uh, let's say not to my liking as far as like the timing of jumping and the momentum that you get um but uh as far as you know like this puzzle solving and the uh things like that uh, it's um it's pretty neat why aren't you catching anything jason i don't know i caught a clam you caught one yeah you may need to uh um you know, because you remember the fishing rod, you can upgrade it like a billion times to make the uh, the rod longer and the string tougher and things like that. Screw that. That's evil. Hey, look, another one of these things that I could just jump on. What 
that do? Hey, a force field that goes away whenever someone comes near it. <laughs> it's probably got a secret boss back there or something. There's a warning, guys. Oh, it's one of Robin's things, yeah. Uh-oh. So what, that was Aokiji, Shanks, Ace. You know, this could have been useful when I fought Crocodile. Hey, I could go gear second. So, look. See, that would have made fighting crocodiles so much easier. Yeah, but you beat him. It was more exciting that way. I know. It was a close one. It was. The white knuckle affair. Hey, look, a little bit of drum. Mr. Snowman. I remember hating this level. Yeah, I don't think I ever got this far. I think I, yeah, when I originally played this, I got stuck in the, the cave. Damn it, first Zack gets stuck in the forest, then you get stuck in the cave. And yet you guys remember this game more than I do. Well, not anymore. Oh wait, no, I did get to this planet, I remember. Yeah, because they had the huge, yeah, but I didn't get past the, the cold zone. They have all those uh, really tall uh, ledges and things that you fall off of. And... All right. <laughs> Bonus manga points, yeah. CD CDGA Gamer says, jump Zoro into the water. That would Some be ice. that would be an achievement or a yeah. Achievement. There you go. <laughs> so, what do you think, Metal Gear Solid Four getting trophies? Uh, do they have one for watching all of the movies? Hey, you stole what I commented to Greg. <laughs> <laughs> Watch them all completely without pausing. You get a yeah. trophy. I think that'll be a gold trophy called Nano Machines. What is this, like this segment of cutscenes? Well, it's because we're talking about Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do a, a, a playthrough of Metal Gear Solid 4 once. So we <laughs> oh, yeah. Once, once there's a trophy patch, some of it will just be, you know, commentary on a cutscene. That will be a few episodes. There may be like two or three episodes where there's playing the game, but everyone else will be like, you know, just cutscene. I like how Luffy disappears completely. <laughs> Alright, who should I level up? Let's actually hmm. think about this. We could level up Usopp. We could level up Sanji. Nami. All right, folks. We'll let you choose. Who who should we level up? We have one vote for Chopper, one vote for Nami. Someone else has to say something. Chopper, two choppers. Chopper going once. Chopper going twice. Chopper going three times, and sold on Chopper. 
if he doesn't die in like a minute. Hey look, another place where I could fish. What's this? <laughs> Commander Copper. <laughs> Commander, Commander Copper. Copper, you ain't gonna catch me, Copper. <laughs> All right, Chopper's gonna fish. Kappa gonna fish. Yeah. Locke says, I'm surprised there hasn't been a Dr. Chopper spin-off game like there has been with Dr. Mario. No, they were too busy making like five of these games. Hey, look, I can make something. <laughs> the world's tiniest shrimp. Hey, shrimp isn't that big. Oh, look at that. An ice fish. Does this count as training chopper? Mm, no. Alright. Back to doing things. How do I break this? Pickaxe? I guess not. You know, there's like fire bombs or something that you need. <sighs> this game's too complicated. <laughs> it is really dumb that you can break down super hard rock, but you can't crack some ice. Hey, I got another attack! So far, this has been very successful. It's a mega darn it. <laughs> I like that. Mega darn it. Hey, that wasn't very nice. Yeah, another game that I got uh, recently is, um, uh, I've probably mentioned this before, but uh, I have a an import 3DS. Because mm, for some reason Nintendo decided to read and lock their 3DSs. Mm -hmm. uh, and so I can't just go down to, you know, the GameStop or whatever and pick up whatever game I want to have to import it. Uh, but there is a book off the uh, you know, Japanese uh, used bookstore. Right. Uh, and the other day when I went there, they had two games... Uh, two Nintendo 3DS games uh, that were Japanese. One was Dogs, and the other one was the new Kingdom Hearts game. Uh, and I figured, like, I like Kingdom Hearts. I like the, the original, the first one on the PS2. Right. Uh, but they've done a lot of sort of not, I don't want to say crappy, but, I mean, they've had some crappy ones and some okay of these sort of spin-off games while they basically put off making Kingdom Hearts 3. One. Yeah, there hasn't yeah. been one for the this generation system, which is no. ridiculous. Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty dumb. Um, but anyway, so so I, I I figured, well, I'll check this one out because um, it's you know right here, and it was like forty bucks, and it would have costed like seventy five probably to import it. So I was like, well, I'll definitely check it out. Uh, and I've actually been kind of enjoying it so far. Oh really? Yeah. Isn't Tron in that I, game? It, it, <clears throat> I don't know. I haven't gotten that far yet. It's it's kind of odd because you have, I mean, if you remember, there are sort of two protagonist type characters. There's Sora and there's Riku, uh, right. his friend, and they have this sort of dual thing going on where 
uh, you switch off between them. Like they're sort of in alternate dimensions, and you you'll do one, and it has like a meter that uh, will slowly decrease until um, uh, it reaches zero, and then you have to drop. That's the dream drop distance. You have to drop, and then you go to the other guy. Um, so there is a, kind of a bit of, I guess, backtracking um, involved. So I haven't really gotten that far yet, but um, it, it has reminded me that if you ignore the, like, totally stupid story and the uh, sort of crappy Nomura uh, model, supermodel characters, that the, the graphics and the, the sound and the music and everything in those games is, is really good. Um, and, uh, you know, the gameplay is usually pretty good, too. But it's just uh, everything else around it tends to be kind of stupid, but... Um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm sort of, it's uh, kind of like a blast from the past in a, in a way. Huh. Cool. You know, I'm actually accidentally going to run into, like, a boss. Oh, yeah. And die, and then all this progress will be for nothing. Go, you, you'll walk into one of those, like, arena things where they keep you from leaving, and there's, like, 30 guys you have to beat. Yeah. I'm not worried about 30 guys. What attack of his do I need to upgrade a lot? His air and his dash. Yeah, this is the stuff, this is what I hated about this area is, you know, like you're using Chopper and then all of a sudden he starts doing his little like running attack and you just run right off of the ledge. You have to climb all the way back up. Crap like that. Hey, I leveled that up. I still hear the battle music, but none of them are up here, so I don't care. <laughs> hey, look, fruit. I so got a golden see, yeah, fruit. What else? <clears throat> golden fruit. Mm -hmm. That's good. It's a. Uh, Definitely the the thing you need to power up the gold. Uh, is there gold uh, point fairy thing in this? I forget. I, don't know. I know there. I think there is one in the uh, Unlimited Cruise on the DS. But is Unlimited Cruise better than this game? It's the same game. I mean, it's there's basically no difference. You you can play as Brooke. That's the only difference. Yeah. Huh. So it is better. <laughs> yeah, it's I could about cut those what is that? Oh, eleven percent better. Wait, yeah. one more character. Well, also, Doflamingo's in the game. No, timely, timely. I don't know. How was Doflamingo in Unlimited Cruise? I don't know. I I didn't get that far in the game. I got I I I got a, a a ways into it and then I got stuck in the usual like okay my entire inventory oh. and my hey, entire Hey, it's that place where you said you're going to fight 30 guys now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. See, I knew it. Uh I got to that point where your inventory is full, your storehouse is full, but you don't have enough of the whatever item you need to uh you know, open up the next orb and you don't want to get rid of anything because you know you're going to need it. You know, you don't want to get rid of all the uh, insects and fish and things that you know you're going to need later on. And so I was just like, oh, God, this is so annoying. Right. And that was, that was the end of that. Yeah, I decided to upgrade my trump card. She's like a police officer with that nightstick there. <laughs> Cracking skulls. Skull joke. Yeah, skull joke. Ah, oh, yes, the Atrium, yes, that does come out. Uh, it just came out uh, wow. in English. Uh, the Atrium, the Final Fantasy rhythm game. Oh. Which is actually a lot better than you would expect, although... Final Fantasy uh, is, rhythm game? Yeah. 
yeah, it's kind of like um, uh, Taiko no Tatsujin. Uh, like, it's not, it's not quite. Because the there was of, just like, that a... other rhythm game that came out, I think, in the states, right? Or it wasn't uh... Final Fantasy. It was like this kid with red hair or something. It reminded me like of Os Tateke Ondan, except not as fun. Oh, yeah. The Rhythm Thief or something like that. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't know about that one, but the the Final Fantasy one is... Uh, is I mean, it obviously it has lots of Final Fantasy music and the, uh, uh, some pretty pretty good classics in there. And uh, the, the gameplay is, is pretty fun, although it's sort of simple. Um, you know, there's there's only a very small pattern of things that you do, and it's basically just doing those over and over again. But um, right. it's uh, I I enjoyed it. I, I enjoyed it more than I was expecting to. Like I I basically bought it. You know, of course, again, I had to import it, which was ridiculously expensive. And all the entire time that I did it, I was like, I know this is, there's no way it's worth this much money. I, like I'm gonna regret this. I don't know why I'm doing this. But I actually liked it a lot more than I was expecting to. Right. I'll at least like to find like the next boss just so I know what I ha what I need for next time. Mm. That's the goal right now. Find out what I need, save, and we'll call it. Sounds good. That's also, a don't die. Down. Hey. What's my team in theater them? Um, my first team was basically all of my favorite characters, which was uh, let's see. Um, did I do more? It was Cecil, um, Cloud, Lightning, and Zidane. Um, and then I got them up to level ninety nine, and I think I just picked like the first four guys or something like that. Um, so once you get up to level 99, there's really not... I mean, unless you just want to keep using them. You know, if you want to actually level everyone up, you might as well just switch Can't I at that point. Can I catch the damn lizard? Or do I need a bigger one? We need a better... <laughs> just, like, stop hitting me. Ow, Can I ow. Can the pickaxe against them? Get, like, lizard no. guts as an item? <laughs> Yeah, there's a lot of unlockable characters in the Theatrhythm game. I think there's one for each game, and then maybe plus one or two more like series series characters or something like that. There's there's a bunch. Um, I've I think I unlocked Vivi from Final Fantasy IX. Um, Do I need any bitter grass? Am I gonna regret using it all? Dude, you can get a bitter grass everywhere. Bitter grass, it is. Okay, um, I need to charge my dark thing. Do I need the weight, um, the iron? No, right? Um, no, keep them. Gold Dindin just said, um, you need five crystals and five waste iron for experimental tool development. How about steel stone? I mean, you stone? can get more, but, um, no, keep the steel stone, because you Could need I that use, to like, upgrade. Two of them? How many do you have? Yeah, have you need you need five to to do the uh, upgrade the net. Do I need any more fountain berries? Um, I'll just use three of them. You could you should probably uh, yeah you should probably save some fountain berries for food stuff. Whatever. <laughs> Every time you say whatever, you're just guaranteeing that you're going to need a bunch <laughs> later on. the hell? That was useless. Hey. <laughs> There's just another ice wall. Yeah. I think uh, I have to like do it at the beginning of the level or you something. You can't, and you can't uh, pickaxe it. I don't know, I got a Tempest Mouse though. Let's see, pickaxe. Oh, yeah, I can. Wait, did... Oh. Hmm, that's weird. It looks like a different... No, I don't know. I was going to say, it looked a little different than the other ice blocks that you couldn't break, but not that different, so... I don't get it. 
Hey, I got her dash. Oh shit, she's dead. Sanji time. I should probably save soon. Why don't these guys want to die? Uh, Gold, Gold Denon says um, perhaps that ice thing was like the, the rocks that you can only break from one direction. That would make sense. Come on, die. Hey, I got a strap of clock. Hey, I'm getting a lot of bitter grass. You're right. There you go. Hey, look, I got waste iron. Yeah, new Borderlands 2 trailer. That's that's my most anticipated game of the year. What, Borderlands Especially, 2? Borderlands 2, yeah. Especially after uh, uh, Bioshock got pushed to, to next year. Uh, I loved Borderlands 1, and it was, it was sort of funny because, like, when it was first about to come out, like, I, I had heard the description of the style of the game and the uh, seen the, you know, shots of the the cell shading graphics that they they did with it and I was like okay this game is going to be awesome like I knew it was going to be great and it didn't seem like anyone else it didn't seem like the general public was really feeling it that much and then like it came out and the game was basically every bit as good as I had thought it was going to be plus like it sold crazy like it's I think it sold like six or seven million copies total or something like that and now they're just going to go crazy with it in the second one so I'm uh, I'm super excited about that I think it's going to be awesome I just made a big rock disappear and I used a bunch of items I don't know if I needed spoiler alert you did need them sweet hey look the beginning of the level so I just broke like this huge way which will bring me directly to this, okay, not directly to this boss. Yes, directly to this boss. I just have to fall down. So that'll be next time. Well done. We're guaranteed a bo boss fight, guys. Getting stuff done. Unless Sanji dies right here, and then Zoro dies, and then Luffy dies, and then I gotta do it all again. <laughs> Jump is Zoro. <laughs> Fine, I'll do it. Lange and Patois. <laughs> what does Zoro need to upgrade? He needs to get his triple A to six and his dash A to six. His triple A is now at yeah. level two. His dash aid just needs like one more level. Ah uh, yes, the cover story, new cover story started in the latest one, and yeah, fuck that. seems like everyone seems to be thinking caribou probably. God damn it! Don't 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 don't. Nobody wants that. Let's have happy thoughts. <laughs> Well, see, I don't know. I mean, I think it could almost be like an overall Fishman Island thing, 
you know, because we sort of left. see how it kind of changes? Like, you know, well, after a that, bunch of humans came in and kicked everyone's ass? Well, that and, the, you know, there, we sort of left all this stuff hanging um, as far as, uh, you know, the situations with, like, Jimbe and um, Big Mom possibly taking it out on Fishman Island and, you know, what, you know, I know Greg has this, this theory that Jimbe and Law and a bunch of the supernovas are going to end up being sort of like his his team captains or things like that, you know, like allies. Um, and I almost wonder, you know, because we're basically going full speed ahead with this other part of the story, maybe this is how Oda can sort of not provide closure, but at least do some development for what's going to happen back at Fishman Island. So you think his, um, his part two is pretty much like, hey, let's do all this cool stuff with the crew where it's more of building a team for the climax. I think it's, I think it's possible. Right. I mean, you know, it generally when you introduce all these, you know, super badass characters like they did with the supernova, it's for enemies, but obviously there's like no shortage of enemies in One Piece, and, um, you know, some of them might be friendly, some of them might be antagonistic, um, but, you know, you can't, you can't just like spend a single arc on beating all of them the way that we have been, you know, previously in the story, so mm -hmm. uh, it would make sense that that's sort of, you know, the direction he's going with it. Yeah. All right. I think we got a lot done today, a.k.a. we yeah. beat one boss, and then we led our way to the second boss. So we are now 20% complete of this game. 20%. What were we, 15%? Yeah. After last? So we are 20%. Apparently 5% is beating one guy and making your way to the next. Unless Ray. part of the percentage is like leveling up characters, in case that is probably where most of the percentage came from this time. Mm. Yeah, I just look at that. 20%, we're almost at 9 hours, and the first one is 100% at 65 hours. So All I don't right. think this game really calculates percentages correctly. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. All right. So, anyways, thank you all for joining. <laughs> I'm tired. Steven, are you tired? Yeah, I'm pretty tired. Yes, we're tired, so we're going to call it an episode for this week. My name is Jason. And my name is Steven. We'll see you all later. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye. Yep.